What's going on, YouTubers? Um, you already know it's Young Greatness. Yo, um, today is just a, a little quick uh, tutorial. Um, just want to show you some some uh, some things over here. I should have did this before I actually started this video, but um, just want to just quick overview a little trick that you can do with the Marquee tool. You probably already know this, but um, you know I, I'm just trying to put something up for you guys to show you maybe a different way to use it if you haven't already been using it like that. Um, one of the things I like to do is use kind of like use the marquee tool um, just for my quick edit purposes uh, it really slows down the I mean it really speeds up the workflow um, I'm gonna look up here right quick in your settings and I believe that there is actually a setting for to use the marquee <coughs> marquee tool have marquee click zones uh, I don't know where that is So basically, oh, here it is in editing, I know that. So if you look right here in editing, you've got this thing called a uh, right mouse button, assign that to a tool. I normally assign that to, to um, you know, the uh, my uh, text editing tool so I can edit my region names. And then uh, you have the marquee tool click zones right there. Um, and so you'll see that over here in the right hand corner, this is what you'll have. You'll have the second hand tool used used with the command button is um is actually you know the command click tool. So you just press command and that automatically comes up. Then you have your uh, right click tool and then obviously your you know your left click tool, your pointer. So really easy, really easy to edit stuff. Um, another little trick that you can do is you can take this so well not another trick but now what you can do with the uh with the actual marquee tool is um edit regions and instead of having to go through and grab the scissors and do all that you can do it just with this marquee tool so i'm gonna show you what i just did here just go zoom in on a region or whatever if you want to um i have the click zones enabled so that takes the bottom half of the region and it turns it into the marquee tool so instead of me pressing command, I can still press command, and I'll show you that I'll do that later on because the click zones don't work. But instead of doing that, you can just, you know, go into that click zone. So select that. Um, just click on that region. All you have to do is just grab, drag, and select. Select that. Now, a little, a, a quick tool. If you double click on this region, it'll pop up in, in the, uh, in the, in the wave editor. You know, the waveform editor, and you'll see that section of that that audio file that I have done. Now instead of me trying to reverse this whole audio file and you know creating a new file and the one way to do it is to create a new file out of that selection then reverse that file but instead you can just actually reverse this section um, I've used control shift R or you can use uh, you know factory reverse or whatever now that has too much space in the beginning so what I do is I'll just come over here um, and actually select this and then you know do that do that edit cool so that that reverses that cool all right so trick number two that's you know just quick editing tools you can do this all over the place you can add little chops or whatever another thing you can actually do too is i thought it's pretty neat is you can grab and select a certain region or a section of a region highlight it hit command c copy it then place that region somewhere just click the marquee tool and control v and boom you've got that region and then it highlights another section where you can do the same thing again so it keeps it keeps moving it forward so if you wanted to you can copy your regions like that just using the marquee tool instead of splitting them or you know minimizing or shortening the end of a region and copying that and lengthening you know that's a whole bunch of bullshit you have to do Third tip is um, in the automation window, you'll actually be able to take a section. Now, I just click on my automation. I have that, you know, key commanded. But um, you can use that same tool. It doesn't have the click zones in automation, but you can use the command button, command key, then highlight that region. Now, click inside. Now, you notice I have pan selected over here, but you can do it for volume. You can do it for any other, any other parameter. And then click inside 
and then actually move that. Just double click on that section and move it. And it creates those two, those two endpoints. You see those two endpoints. I think that's pretty dope, man. Um, to where, you know, you don't have to, oops, you don't have to do some crazy, you know, point click editing for it. So and that's what I do is I like to do pan effects and stuff. So I take one edge, drop it down like that, take the other edge, lift it up higher, whatever. So that makes your, your panning a lot easier. If you want to go pan to the left or right or do any curve, then you can just select whatever tool that you want and, you know, do your curving and all that crazy, crazy cool stuff, you know, that us nerds love. Um, <laughs> pretty dope right so yeah that, i mean that's the logic lesson for today man um pretty simple just got the track going and then you'll hear those pans and it's and you can do this stuff in real time too it's not like you gotta stop and you know do all this other stuff pretty much it man it's, it's pretty dope just know that when um when you do when you do do those edits to certain sections um it will change the overall it will change that section of the overall audio file so if you have other repeat sections in the in there um like i have this repeating you know this repeat so I can just use that in that section where I did that reverse, you know what I mean? Or like like I told you, you can um, go here and then take this section and then create another audio file using, you know, and, and then do that, you know, like that, um, you know, for those scenarios. But yeah, this is just some quick workflow tips, man. I hope you guys enjoy my videos. I try to keep posting as often as possible. Just keep making your music, man.